I want you to take this thought into mind. You know, the whole, everything about meditation or contemplation or anything about like silencing your mind or being still, a lot of people think that's just a bunch of hubbub and doesn't make much sense. But let's use this as an example. When you try to take a picture of something, whether you're using an old classic camera with an eye lens or when you, you know, the, the, the picture or you look through, you see the, the, the lens of the camera or when you use a phone and you go to try to take a picture and it takes a few minutes. Have you ever looked at somebody and you see them plain as day? They're super crisp and clear and vivid with all those colors. And then you hold your phone up and your phone's all fuzzy and it has to take a second before it, it finally, you know, clears it up. Or when you look through the camera thing, you can see that it's all blurry for a second and then it focuses. Well, just like that, your mind, in which you can't see your mind's eye, will never clearly focus if it's always moving. Just like a camera, can't focus if it's moving. So that is the exact example of how your mind is working, your third eye vision, and your regular eye vision. If you're just moving, 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 always thinking, 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 not taking the time to look around you, then you're missing a lot around you. You can shake your head and not see anything in front of you very well. But if you keep your head still, at least somewhat still, you can see a lot of things. If your eyes are still and you focus on the thing in front of you without glaring too hard and making it blurry again, you can see it. So at the same time, trying too hard to squint or, or try really hard to see something, you don't see it as well as if you just relax and observe. Like, same thing with your mind, same thing with everything. So use that camera example as understanding why you need to be still so you can still your mind so that you can see clearly in the inward vision. You're, you can envision better when you have a still mind and you can have better vision in the real world when you have still eyes, when you're still. So learn why those things are necessary. Not following somebody's words that sound cool and you don't know why. This is an explanation of why. Because if you're still, you can truly focus. Not just focus as in like stability and, and vision, clear seeing. We're talking focus, your mind. So. There you have it.